Today I'm going to show you what are eye floaters and how to treat eye floaters naturally. If you would like my free guide on how to treat eye floaters naturally with everything I've covered in this video and more then just click here. Firstly let's cover what are eye floaters. Most often they look like squiggly strands in your peripheral vision although they can appear as black dots or cloud specks. The scientific name for the object is called this, it's Latin for flying flies and true to their name it can somewhat be annoying. Your average everyday floater is caused by a piece of protein called collagen floating in a dissolved gel like fluid in the back of the eye which casts a shadow on the retina when light enters the eye. Because they're suspended in a gel like liquid that fills inside of your eye, floaters drift along with your eye movement and seem to bounce a little when your eye stops. Floaters are particularly noticeable when you're looking at a uniform bright surface like a computer screen, snow or a clear sky where there's consistency of the background that makes them easy to distinguish. Women also complain more frequently than men do about eye floaters. Most of the time they can be easily ignored but for some people, especially the elderly, these squiggling nuisances can be so severe it affects their ability to see. In serious cases they can be an indication of retinal detachment or a retinal tear. However most of the time there is no need to worry, everybody gets them every now and again. Although surgeries do exist to treat severe cases of floaters, there is currently no miracle medication to cure them on the market. On the whole, eye floaters only last for about six months. Since these eye floaters are bits of tissues, they reduce in size over time and mostly settle down at the bottom of the line of sight. This can take time but it may last up to six months or depending on the size of the floating tissue, maybe a little bit longer. The brain also contributes by starting to ignore the shadowy flecks. If you have an existing disease like diabetes or have a recent eye injury then it's best to get medical advice. Otherwise you can just ignore their appearance as it's just part and parcel of growing old. Although laser surgery is showing promising results for removing eye floaters in the extreme cases, today I'm going to concentrate more on how to remove eye floaters naturally. The first natural cure I want to talk about is comfrey tea. This herb is rich in lutein which is known to be good for the eyes. It also contains potent antioxidants which are known to dissolve eye floaters. You can easily grow comfrey in your garden or buy it in tea or loose leaf form. You can make a delicious sweet tea by combining the comfrey with a teaspoon of natural honey. You can drink this beverage two to three times daily. You can also steep some comfrey in a cup and once cooled, apply it to your eyes using an eyedropper. It works a treat for dissolving eye floaters. You can also try eye exercises. These are exercises that will help you to get the floaters to reduce and hasten their disappearance too. All you need to do is rotate the eyes first in a clockwise fashion and then in an anti-clockwise way. Do this exercise throughout the day about 10 times a day till you feel the floaters are no more. Another good exercise is to focus in the eyes. Hold a pencil at arm's length in front of your eyes and then focus on it. Slowly bring it closer to your eyes. Do this 10 times a day to strengthen your eyes. Next I want to talk about organic chlorella. Chlorella is a nutritional marvel that's incredibly rich in carotenoids, lutein and has other benefits as well. These contain powerful antioxidants that are essential for the health of the eyes. Chlorella also contains high amounts of beta carotene, vitamin C, magnesium and vitamin D and also boron which are all crucial for eye health as well. People have reported having very good experiences of treating eye floaters with this remedy. For dosage recommendations, follow the advice listed on the container. Be sure to take your chlorella on an empty stomach, preferably 15 to 20 minutes before food for maximum effect. It comes in powder or capsule form. The next one I want to talk about is antioxidant foods and I've touched on this before. Eat a lot of foods that are rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants help in improving circulation as well as making the retinal layer in the eye stronger. Make your diet rich in carrots, whole and their juices, green leafy vegetables like spinach and Swiss chard as well. 
These are rich in lutein, zeaxithin, beta carotene and vitamin C. So be sure to consume these foods in abundance. You can add them to your salads, soups and smoothies. If it's strawberry season, then there is no sweeter way than to get your quota of antioxidants than through kiwi fruits and oranges. These are also good sources of powerful antioxidants. Brewing a hot cup of green tea a couple of times a day will also go a long way into getting those antioxidants into you. Eggs and fish and wild caught salmon also contain good amounts of lutein, zeaxithin and taurine, so eat these in reasonable amounts as well. Finally, blackcurrants are rich in potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant nutrients that are essential for eye health. So try and snack on these wherever possible. The next one is taurine. This important amino acid is yet another vital nutrient for eye health. In fact, many sufferers of eye floaters swear by taurine for getting rid of their floaters fast, usually within a few days. The recommended dose is around 1000 milligrams a day. You can easily buy taurine in a supplement form online or from your local health food store. The next one I want to talk about is magnesium, vitamin D and boron. Another major cause of eye floaters is thought to be a result of a buildup of unused calcium in the soft tissues, particularly in the eyes. Supplementing with magnesium, vitamin D and the crucial trace mineral boron gets the calcium moving, which in turn helps to treat and cure eye floaters. In addition to this, these essential nutrients also help with joint and muscle pain and cardiovascular help. Try and get an all-in-one supplement that contains all these three nutrients if you can, but is low in calcium. For dosage recommendations, follow the directions listed on the bottle. Castor oil also contains the antioxidants and essential nutrients needed for eye health. The only downside of using castor oil is the blurriness that occurs when you first place the drops in your eyes. This can easily be overcome however by applying the castor oil before you go to sleep at night. It will be well worth the effort and slight inconvenience as when you wake up in the morning you'll find yourself seeing clearer than you have in quite a while. When it comes to using castor oil, only purchase high quality organic hexene free castor oil. So go for the premium quality organic cold pressed castor oil and stay away from the cheaper brands. And never buy castor oils that are in see through bottles, they must be in dark to keep the light out. Another good sensible remedy is a natural diet. Certain foods help tremendously with eye floaters and eye health, whilst others definitely make your eyes and eye floaters worse. The main foods to avoid are those which are man-made disaster foods like refined and processed foods, trans fatty oils, fructose and MSGs. Any food that has been tampered with by man is no longer in its natural state and should be avoided. Next we're going to move on to Axtraanthin. It's a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory for the eyes and it's even more potent than both lutein and zeaxin. Astaanthin is one of the few nutrients that is able to cross the blood retinal barrier. So it delivers the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant protection you need straight to your eyes. Astraanthin helps tremendously with virtually any eye related problems including eye floaters. Wild caught Alaskan salmon and krill oil are both good sources of astraanthin. However, to get the amount you need for eye health and for curing eye floaters, a concentrated supplement would be needed. So hopefully these tips and remedies will help you. For best results, be sure to pick two or three of these recommendations and use them in combination with each other. You may also need to experiment with each one to see what works for you. Whilst eye floaters are quite harmless, there are instances when you need to consult an eye doctor. If the eye floaters are accompanied by eye pain or if your vision gets blurred or there is a loss of vision, it might be more serious. Sometimes there might be flashes of light for which you need to make an appointment at your earliest to see your doctor. If you would like your free guide to everything we've discussed and more natural health remedies for eye floaters and a free bonus then click here. Thanks for watching this video and if you've enjoyed it then please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video as well. And I'll leave the link in the corner to get your free guide as well. Thanks for watching and bye for now.